is Monday. The start of a Monday. new week. Yeah, I don't know why I said it like that. Monday. <laughs> and we are leaving Quebec, Quebec. So uh, we'll miss you, Quebec, Quebec. The place so nice they named it twice. You know? I think that's New York, though. Anyway, uh, so we slept uh, where you were just watching. We're just passing the plaza where we slept last night at a Walmart. Very strange here, even Walmart super centers are not 24 hours. I guess we're used to traveling in the US when everything is 24 hours, so. Uh, what I wanted to talk about real quick is your poo plan. <laughs> you need to have a solid poo plan. So, well, sometimes it's not gonna be solid, but you need it <laughs> yeah. before you go to sleep. Totally, so what's a poo plan? So you've seen our toilet uh, in other videos. City. What's that? City over there. Au revoir. See how much better my French is now? <laughs> anyway, so we got the two-part camp toilet. Even when we had the built-in toilet when we bought the van, the owner said, we've never done a number two in the van. Most people that have a road track have said to us they don't do number two in the van. Why? Because uh, in the smaller little vans like this, typically you're, in, or at least in older ones, it's gravity fed, which means when you drain your tanks, it's just gravity. So if you got a couple of big logs in there or something, <laughs> All I'm saying is like it's gonna get clogged up and you gotta clean it. And it's gonna smell. Bad news. So same with this. The bottom pulls out and it's a little like, you know, a nozzle that I can pour all the pee out and the chemicals, which is fine. But let's just say you did a number two in there, you're gonna have to do some extensive cleaning. So the rule is no number twos, no shits in the van. You know what I mean? Well, unless you're penny and you shit your van. Yeah, that happens, but dogs aren't supposed to shit the van either. Uh so a poo plan. You got to know, at least for me, when I wake up uh, within 30 minutes, I got to go to the bathroom. That's that, especially if I've had a coffee. So in the States, you go to the Walmart Supercenter. I get up, boil my coffee. I walk 20 feet. <laughs> I go use their washroom and then back out. All good. But here, um, we've needed a, a secondary source the in the Walmarts morning. Walmarts don't open till like 8. Till that's, 8. That's super late. Yeah, because we're up at 6.30, right? So for us, that's a long time. We've been finding um, McDonald's, and there always seems to be a McDonald's around a Walmart. Probably because even there's. Even the Tim Hortons are 24 yeah, hours. Yeah, even the, the Tim Hortons doesn't even open until 7. What the heck? So, the last couple nights when we park, we look where the nearest um, McDonald's is, and it's like if you've ever had a job where they had like a fire escape plan. <laughs> like at night, we gotta have a poo uh, plan for the morning, and it's the route we're gonna take. Where is the. McDonald's is 24 hours. Um, if, anyway. If we need to know how to find it yes. while we're half asleep. Yeah, so just worth mentioning because it's one of those things people tend to want to know is like, where do you go to the bathroom? Oh, you have a bathroom in your van. Oh, amazing. So you just use that. Yes and no. So peas only, no yes. no shits in the, in the van. That's all we can say. I've even thought ahead of like, hmm. What if I was in a real emergency and I had no choice? Well, I might try and poo outside the van on the grass, because that's going to be embarrassing. Uh, but I'd even thought of like, what about a bag with some kitty litter that you just throw into the toilet bowl and, <laughs> and then take a shit in it and wrap it up? So, yeah, I think that would smell terrible in the van though right away. That would be a rough one. I'd have to leave. But anyway, thought I'd talk this morning a little bit about the poo plan as we leave Quebec City, Quebec. On our way to Moncton, that's the next stop. We're technically only like three days into our vacation, and uh, I got a, a really good night's sleep last night, eh? Like, we slept like the dead. No dogs woke us up, nothing. It was peaceful and beautiful, and I feel like a whole new man today. And today's just a drive day, so I'm gonna use it to get some video edited, and then it'll be my turn to drive, and uh, we'll put on some podcasts and just enjoy the day. But that's the poo plan, so if you're gonna travel, Anybody who's just traveled like car camping in, and brought like a tent like for regular car camping probably knows you have to have a poop plan at some point. Well, because Although, if, they're, if they're car camping... They're, yeah, they're, they're probably at a car, uh, campground, right? Or, yeah. or if you're car camping, it's, it seems to be more okay to just pop a spot in the bush. Well, if you're car camping, there's a central, usually a central washroom now, right? Yeah. But, yeah, anyway, when you're doing the van life and you don't have a toilet, like if you've just got a converted van you've done yourself and you didn't put a toilet in, which is not that uncommon, um, then you gotta have a plan. Whether uh, you've got like a 24 hour uh, 
chain of uh, you know fitness places that you go to for showering as well or there you go there's our plan uh, unless you're backwoods spoon docking make sure you have a poop plan for the morning all right keep the shit tickets handy see you later